Hi everyone, welcome back to Simply Innovation. In this video, I will continue my previous video, my previous tutorial about Python-based MQTT broker and its client. Now I'll connect to MongoDB database. So in the previous videos, we have success to connect my MQTT broker to save the message from my publisher into my SQL database. So now I'll use MongoDB database to save the message from my publisher. Okay, so let's open uh, the previous project here. I have a broker.py, the essential broker, the essential MQTT broker using HP MQTT. Copy this and paste it here. Let's try to rename it to broker MongoDB like this. Okay, so now uh, to connect to MongoDB database, I'll use py mongo package. You have to install it from pip install py mongo. So I have installed it before, so I don't have to install it again. Okay, you just type pip install py mongo. Okay, before we continue, let's create a database and also a collection on MongoDB database. So let's go to its server let's activate the server go to program files and then mongodb where is mongodb server 4.0 so i will use mongodb 4.0 go to pin folder copy the address and i'll open command prompt to command prompt the first one to activate uh, the mongodb server so i'll type cd to here after that let's type mongot to activate its server enter it okay and voila waiting for connection on port 27017 then let's open another terminal i'll go to uh, the same path cd here then to activate mongo shell type mongo like that okay so now uh, i will create a database called mqtt pi okay so now i'm in mqtt pi database next let's create a collection on mqtt pi uh, database so i can create using db dot create collection like this the collection will be mqtt pi enter it nice okay also i have to create uh, the user so db create user i will use the user lintang and the password oh, it must be user lintang and the password pwd one two three four five and then the roles roles must be uh, db admin and also to write and read nice okay let's try enter it oh error read write I think read write. It must be read and write. Okay, so db dot create user. Let's type again or copy it. Copy, paste here, then read and write. Not write and read. Okay, read write like that. Okay, nice. Successfully edit user. So now I have a database called mqttpy and also a collection called mqttpy with user linda and password 12345. Nice. Okay, let's back to our Visual Studio code here. Let's import the pymongo package. Import pymongo. Then let's declare uh, where is my database. And also my collection so I will create my client or my database okay? my DB simple my DB my DB is on by mongo dot mongo client 
insert the database URL uh, it must be mongodb slash slash localhost port 27017 like this so this is my mongodb URL let's create a connection there pi mongo dot mongo client mongodb localhost 27017 after that let's go to asynchronous function coroutine function broker get message so the message that will be saved into database is here packet dot pilot dot data dot decode utf8 so here i will insert my database so my uh, db for example this is i will rename to my mongo okay so here i will use my db to connect to my database my db equals to my mongo dot or like this my mongo mqtt pi my database name okay my db my mongo mqtt pi and also my collection equals to my db mqtt pi so this is my collection name mqtt pi after that let's uh, create a simple data for example the data just a uh, message this is the key the message and also the value of message key is packet dot payload dot data dot decode utf8 like this nice for that let's execute using x uh, my column dot my column dot insert because i will just insert a data so i will use insert one main data like this after that let's print data save nice okay i think it's okay so uh, we will try to publish a message from my publisher then see on my mongodb database okay. let's open the terminal and split it into three parts the first one for my mqc broker the second for my subscriber and the last one for my publisher okay Oops. let's try okay let's activate uh, our broker first by broker mongo db uh, dot by activate okay nice it has been activated then the subscriber pi sub dot pi connected to a broker the last one let's try to activate my publisher pub dot pi great okay so now my subscriber and also my publisher have connected to my broker let's send a message from my publisher then see on my mongodb database okay, for example uh, hello world enter nice okay so this is the data from my publisher hello world data saved let's see on my mongodb database okay, here open here then uh, let's type db.mqttpy.find to see the data enter it nice the first data message hello world it works so let's try again uh, python is awesome enter iot is great let's try again to see on my mongodb shell db.mqttpy.find nice there are three data here hello world python is awesome iot is great so it comes from my publisher so that's it a simple connectivity from my broker you to mongodb database using my mongo package for full tutorial you can check on my github repo link is on description and thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe see you Bye.